Conway Victor Savage was an Australian rock musician. He was a member of Nick Cave and the Nevada Seeds, providing piano, organ and backing vocals from 1990. From 1993, Savage had a solo career and released albums, Nothing Broken, Wrong Man's Hands and Rare Songs and Performances 1989-2004. He also collaborated with other artists for their albums, such as Soon Will Be Tomorrow and Quickie for Ducky. Conway Victor Savage was born on July 27, 1960 and grew up in country Victoria where his parents were publicans. His brother, Frank Savage, is a part-time rock music cabaret singer and builder. His niece, Cash Savage, is the lead singer of the band Cash Savage and the Last Drinks. Savage began playing piano in his early teens in the dining room of one of the pubs his parents owned. He later recalled I just really enjoyed it, I could just sit down and play it and play it, it's a beautiful relaxation, until this day. But it wasn't like I was playing in the pub for nickels and dimes or anything. I was really embarrassed about it and I kept it pretty quiet. From 1980 to 1981, Savage was on piano and backing vocals in Happy Orphans, with Jim White on drums. He was also in Scrap Museum over a similar time period. From 1982 to 1986 he was in a country music band, The Feral Dinosaurs, again with White. Other members of that group were Nick Danny on saxophone and vocals, Dave Last on double bass and vocals, and Jim Shug on guitar. The group issued a track, Blue Day, on a various artists' compilation album, Asleep at the Wheel. A single, Ramblin' Man, followed before they released an extended play, You've All Got a Home to Go To, in December 1985. Also in the 1980s he played in the Melbourne-based country rock band, Dust on the Bible, with his sister-in-law Jane as lead vocalist. In 1988, with Last, he formed Dave Last and the legendary Boy Kings, which included Bruce Kane on drums, Manny Marco Giannikos on guitar, and Shane Walsh on bass. Savage joined Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds in 1990 on piano, organ and backing vocals to promote their sixth album, The Good Son. He has since appeared on their studio albums including Henry's Dream, Let Love In, Murder Ballads. The Boatman's Call, No More Shall We Part and Abattoir Blues, The Liar of Orpheus. In October 1995 Conway contributed lead vocals for The Willow Garden, a B-side of the single, Where the Wild Roses Grow. Due to the overall minimal piano parts on the band's 14th release, Dig, Lazarus, Dig, Conway was used on backing vocals and hand claps. Through the late 1980s and into the 1990s, he also guested on albums and singles for various fellow Australian musicians, including Kim Salmon, Dave Graney, My Life on the Plane. 1989, David McComb, Spencer P. Jones, and Robert Forster. Savage started to record his own solo material from late 1992, when he released a self-titled four-track EP. He provided lead vocals, piano and organ, and was assisted by fellow Bad Seeds members, Martin P. Casey on bass guitar, and Mick Harvey on drums. Guitar and backing vocals. In late 1995, he linked up with singer-songwriter-guitarist Susie Higgy for the collaborative album Soon Will Be Tomorrow. It was produced by Higgy's husband Matt Crosby. Its release was delayed until after Falling Joys disbanded and appeared in June 1998 on Anchor and Hope, distributed by Shock Records. Liz Armitage of the Canberra Times described the album as an almost country medieval record. Australian musicologist Ian McFarlane felt it was a low-key and lo-fi album of soft-hued country and blues tunes containing sparse folk-slash-pop tunes and quiet love songs. The duo toured to promote the album. Savage released his debut full-length album Nothing Broken on his own label, Beheaded Communications, in 2000. He used Casey and Harvey, together with Charlie Owen on banjo and guitars, and Tony Weisenbeek on harmonica. It was co-produced by Savage and his engineer, Dave McClooney. The musicians were recorded without Savage's vocals, which were added later, but just a piano guide track. A reviewer at 16 horsepower. Com felt this somewhat blindfolded approach to the songs, results in a fresh, impromptu feel to this stately, contemplative album. Spontaneity has always been an essential element in the recording process for Savage. And this daring approach is vindicated once more. In August 2002 it was re-released in Europe by Cargo Records. Savage's next solo album Wrong Man's Hands, released in 2004, was recorded from late 2003 to early the next year on an eight-track in a room above the Union Club Hotel, Fitzroy, with members of Melbourne band The Stream, Amanda Fox, and Robert Tickner. He admitted that he used a little James Joyce in one of his lyrics but please don't sue me, I probably owe you the price of a cup of coffee, some. 
of his words drifted into my imagination with the songs and next thing they, they just fitted like a glove and I just went with it. Savage's 2005 compilation album Rare Songs and Performances 1989-2004 traced his various studio and lib material recorded in Australia and Europe. Guest musicians include Casey, Fox, Harvey, Jones, Tickner, and White. Savage, Fox and Tickner issued a collaborative album Quickie for Ducky in 2007, which was followed by Savage's solo effort live in Ireland the next year. It had been recorded live at the Glen Centre Manor Hamilton, Leitrim on October 18, 2008. NME's Edwin McPhee noted that Savage's vocals are a bit like sand and glue. He may not be blessed with the purest set of pipes, but his quivering, piano-led renditions of songs from his last four albums frame his ragged, whiskey-soaked vocals perfectly. In 2010, Savage, Fox and Tickner issued the six-track EP Pussy's Bow, which had been recorded in Ireland's Tumbleweed Studios in Dundalk in the previous August. Recording engineers were Derek Turner and Jason Varley, while Savage supplied lead vocals, piano and keyboards, Fox was on organ, accordion, percussion and backing vocals, and Tickner delivered guitars and backing vocals. A 94 Bars barman reviewed the EP if, like me, you think of him principally as Nick Cave's piano player, then you need to take a deeper dive, it blows away. Some of the preconceptions of him as solely a country artist or a goth, it, is nothing but a record of contrasting moods. And a very good one. Savage underwent medical treatment for a brain tumor in 2017. He died, aged 58, on September 2, 2018. Ghosting, the Bad Seat 17th album, was dedicated to Savage. Conway Savage is credited with, organ, piano, keyboards, backing vocals, guitar, hand clapping, composer, producer. Thanks for watching.